trouble But we don't really care Tell ourselves there's always tomorrow But it will still be fair No, they don't pick us up Instead they knock us down And that's the way it goes Until we're in the ground I don't wanna do this anymore Good morning guys, welcome to today <laughs> It's 5 a.m. And we are in trouble. Just joking, it is 7 a.m. We have one hour till go time. Did you guys see the horses that were outside on the grass? Way at the back there. So the kittens today learned how to catch crickets. Oh. This is a big one, like that big. Did they kill it? Uh, no. Because my kitten was going to kill it, but then Ollie took over trying to catch it. He let it go. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Poor Gabby. Her sister or her sister's cat always foiling her plans. Girls are doing hay. My kids wear shirts over top of their show shirts to keep them clean. Sometimes they even wear pants over top, like pajama pants. Here, Gabby. Did it shrink over the wash? Uh, no, they don't shrink in the wash. They just shrink in the dryer. I it to shrink in the dryer, yeah. Oh, I don't put them in the dryer. I wanted it to shrink because I bought a size. What size is this? 52 or 54? Gabby, I can't get this. I thought it was 54. It's a size 54, and now it's a size 56 from Stella because I put it on here because it's the only one that fit her with my saddle, and she stretched it out to a size 54. Well, they need new ones anyway. He needs a new one. Anyways, so welcome to today's video. 5 a.m. We're in trouble. <laughs> okay, so we're not actually in trouble. We were in trouble at 5 a.m. when the alarm went off, and Sam oh, was my like, alarm went off at four. Same. Yeah, yeah. They set their I alarm. Woke up, you need to go brush I your teeth. You got black stuff on your teeth. Anybody who's black stuff on their teeth does not win. Not that it's about winning. Um, I our smile anyway, so I don't see my teeth. You have to smile. Anyways, so my alarm, Sam's alarm went off at 5 a.m. and he rolled over and turned it off. And I could not even wake up. I was like, there's no way. So I fell back asleep and this is what I dreamed. I dreamed that I was trying to get up. I kept peeling the cover off of me, but then every cover I peeled off, there was another one. And I kept on trying to peel it off and peel it off. Finally, I was just like, I just got up because <laughs> I was not gonna get any more sleep. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Hopefully now of our horses sure. get shot like my dream. <gasps> what? You dreamed one of our horses got shot? Gino Island, everyone thought that our yard was for hunting. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's a no dream. And they also yeah. shot Molly. Our farm's a Oh, that's terrible. All right, let's do a count. We've got a bridal. And then no. we beat We've got a girth. Look at how gorgeous that girth be looking. Mom, Mom cleaned it. One part that I liked about that dream, I got to beat them. Wow. And you are not a beating kind of person. You probably were in a rage. Mess with my horses, you get a beating. Yeah, you mess with Sophie's horses, you get a beating. I've never seen Sophie beat anything before. Either. I've actually never even seen Gabby beat anything before, even though she talks like she's a big, big beater. All right, so we've got two girths. No, oh my gosh. We've got two bridles. We've got one. Where's your thing that goes over his? Oh, okay. Yeah, we got that. We got that, we got that, we got the saddle pads. It's called a martingale. The mom martingale. Said. We got the water, we got the buckets. We got. Boots, helmet, half chaps. Boots, helmet, half chaps. Wait, Gabby, wait, where's your helmet? Uh oh, go get your helmet quick. One thing I don't want to forget is my hat. Do you guys remember? A couple years ago, I bought this hat. It's the fake version of the really nice, big, wide brimmed equestrian hat. And I love it, and I'm taking it because if it gets too hot, this thing could save my life. I just wanna say hello and do whatever I like. It doesn't matter if they say so, cause I can put up a fight. Let's make a hit and run, do it for fun. They can't hold on. Get away. Get away. Another day of backstage. 
Right, we are ready to roll. We got two horses sandwiched between their lunch. How did you get to, look at, look at the difference between your owners. Finney's owner gives him this nice, big, huge, fluffy bag of hay. Gabby's owner gives him this half-filled, crappy, not much in it bag of hay. That's so rude. That's so rude, Stormy. Can you guys even eat? Don't you bite him. Remember, we're practicing proper trailer etiquette. Be kind. Be kind to one another. And here's some pep talk for the show. We're going to a show, you guys. I want you to behave. Who didn't wash your nose? Ew, that's disgusting. I washed his nose. I want you guys to behave today. I want you to make me proud. Make Day by Day Farm proud. Make your owners proud. We will do our best. Hi, baby. To do our best by you. Be good boys. That's all I ask of you, to be kind. Just be kind. All right, we're ready to roll. We got it all, right? <laughs> got the leather halters. We got our poop bucket. We got our... Did you get the food? Did we get the food? Oh, Finny be loving on me. Look, he did not wash his nose yesterday. All right, let's go. All right, we are ready to go. We got all the food, and I'll show you guys what we brought for horse food when we get there. We got the girls who got the phones. Sophie, did you bring your phone? Yeah, Gabby, say hi. Hi. All right, you guys. Today is all about fun and excitement and the fact that we're actually able to show. Last year we took being able to go to a horse show for granted. This year we know that we're lucky. We're lucky that we found a show. Hopefully we'll find another. I already found another. Anyway, let's get on with the show. All right, we are here and we got the best spot. Big, huge tree to park under. So remember you guys, it is all about social distancing at this show. So this is super cool. Oh, but I'm still getting people Yeah, off. poor Sylvie has to ride with a cool sore. What? In the flat, I'm still cutting people off. Okay, so Gabby has problems about people cutting people off. The because everybody Somebody, freaking cuts me off. Everybody oh. cuts her off. It Kendall just infuriates her. Oh, like this is not super cute. Uh, but it's okay. I mean, Alright, so I got the numbers. What number do you want? 17 is the lower number. I, I probably have 18 now. You have 18. <laughs> I came by and I'm looking and I'm like, holy heck, look at those horses' feet. They practically glow. Why would they glow, do you ask? Because they got, they've got amazing baby powder. Baby powder does that. It doesn't even glow as much in the camera. Can you guys see it though? Oh, I gotta do their hair right now. I've already seen so many people that we know. Like it's amazing how you get to know so many people at a horse show. So the first thing I have to do before we do anything else is do their may their forelock. We're not gonna talk about the braiding situation. These are Gabby's gorgeous I ones. I did like four. And then mine. She okay. abandoned me at the last minute. So uh, Gabby is really good at buttoning, so I'm braiding, she's buttoning, which is what we should do from now on. Finn's actually pretty chill. They're like pretty happy here. And you have to hold the button. All right, so Storm, Storm has given us trouble. Try to braid his forelock and he's like, no, no, I don't want to do it. Hope all that energy that you got going on there, Stormy boy, means you're going to be in fire on fire in the show. We moved Finny over here because it was getting crazy with Storm. So he's got his own little shade tree. Isn't that so good? I love that. I love our spot. We're far from the show, though. We're far from the show. Actually, I'll show you. So, if you can see, like, right there, the kids are going around. And you can see them right here. Because of COVID, they're doing, like, a half an hour break between each division, or between two divisions or something. Like, they're doing a whole bunch of several half-hour breaks. Anyway, um... Somebody fell during the hack. An older woman fell and she hurt her neck, so an ambulance had to be called. So we just finished our first break waiting for the ambulance to come for her. And Fiona told Sophie, get the hack tacked up. You getting tacked up now? Yeah. Are you excited? 
Yeah, there might only be another one other person in my Okay, so also I should tell you guys that the girl, okay, so so far we know that there are two people in cross rails, which is what Sophie's showing, and the girl is named Sophie and she went to preschool with my Sophie. Can so I use this one? It's two Sophies showing cross rails together yeah. and yeah, I think it's they're gonna be good well matched. Yeah. Right, she's ready. We're ready to go. She's got on her new breeches, her new so so shirt. Don't step in that. Sophie's up. Gabby's playing in this coach. Just walk him around, get him used to everything. All right, so Sophie's getting up. She has a couple of divisions before her Bend turn. Your knees and butt your legs. There you and go. And she's getting so her coaching. So far, Finney's being fabulous. Knock on wood. You knocking all day. The show's outside. This is just warm up. Fabulous Finn. Fabulous Finn. She's got a good number on her back. Yeah. I love that number. It's my birthday and my... You got Fiona's lucky number on your back, Sophie. Storm is rearing and bucking, so Gabby's going to help Dad. He's probably having a fit. Probably wishing he drank his coffee today. Shorten your reins and push your hands forward out of your lap. We don't want them in our crotch. We want them up by our martingale, right? Too much breathing. <laughs> Change your eyes. Look straight ahead. Girl, walk over it. Keep walking. Keep oh. walking over it. It's little. You can walk right over top of it. He's going. Okay, breathe. <laughs> oh, Finny, you crazy boy. He's like, I did not think that there would be jumps here. It's a pole. It's a pole. There we go. Do it again. All right, here we go again. So look straight ahead. This time we're gonna start putting a little bit of leg on now. A little bit of leg. Good girl. Grab your martingale. Walk over it. Why did you pick the highest spot, Nob? But why is, has he ever refused to jump? Like pretty much never in his life. Oh, it's a good thing we were complaining that there's a half an hour break between things. Now I'm thinking like that's a good thing. That would be nice. Change your eyes. Now look straight ahead. Be confident. You're getting to the other side, right? Little leg, quick click. Do it, Finny. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes, Yay. give it back. Say thank you for jumping it. Let's do it again. Cause he's never, he's never afraid of jumps. That's his thing. Just another jump, it's like a pole. You it's love like your pole. jumps, Finny boy. Squeeze go, Squeeze go, him. go. Squeeze him. Good girl, give him a pat. So, everybody showing in her vision is more experienced, I feel like, than her. But we're gonna do this. We're gonna do it. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I'm going for a water run. The thing I'm most nervous about is the fact that if he, like, this is all about Sophie's confidence this show like we don't care if she how well she does we just want her to get out there and do it if Finn suddenly starts spooking or refusing jumps could be a knock to her confidence what's Storm's problem so you can't go over and watch then hey don't idiot me still practicing Stay on the rail, Sophie. Pass left to left. Oh, she is spicy. Trot over the cross rail. Give him your energy. Straight ahead. It's just a pole outside. Look up. Click, 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 click. Yes, give him a pass. Look straight ahead. Help him out. Click, click, click. Yes, good boy. Oh, so this is all new. So first show of the of the year. So Storm's been Storm's been rearing and trying to kick and oh, I guess we left Sam with Storm and apparently Storm was bucking and rearing and so Gabby had to go and take care of him. But this is sometimes what happens. Like most of these horses are are live at this barn. Just a few that don't, like us and one other. So Finn is slowing down. 
in at the new place and I have a feeling this guy's gonna be like let's do it yeah we figure he's gonna be dead because all the bucking and rearing now what it's wood and a brown yeah fin doesn't yeah brown. yeah the fin did not like the jumps and we figure it's because there's no color on them <gasps> oh gosh thought he was yes I know thought he was biting him he's like the sea Why would Storm bite us? annoying like oh my buddy see storm fights back like Gabby tells him stop rearing and then he's like screw you and then he tries to kick her this might be the day that Gabby goes down she ran back she took storm for a walk to the trailer to get a sandwich for Fiona and she and Gabby came back and couldn't get the sandwich because when she bent down storm started kicking like kicking like freaking out and rearing and she couldn't manage him. This is the storm. The stormy night that is so totally manageable. So this might be the day that Gabby falls off at a show. Knock on wood, it doesn't happen though. She'd be mad. This is our setup over here in the shade. And so Fiona, oh, so this is all of our food that we brought. We brought lots of drinks, some pepperoni sticks, a bunch of cherries, um, some chips and some granola bars, some cheese bread, because mm, who doesn't love cheese bread? Um, some flakies, uh, some boots, some more chips and crackers and more cake. And this is Fiona's. Yeah, I'm coming out there with you. Go figure. All the horses here are crazy because of the first show and Finn's quiet, like too quiet. And then we have Crazy Man over here. I don't mean that one, I mean this one. Crazy man, you better behave. Listen, dude. I have it on. Yeah. There, yes. Three, two, one. What a good boy. Kiss, 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 kiss. Yes. Good job. Let him walk. Bring him up. Good luck. Storm's on fire. Pass me some water. Storm's on fire. Like, I can't even get over it. This is not the horse that we have had for the last two years. Something has changed, I think. I'll tell you guys later, but I think I figured out what is the big change in Storm. I think I figured it out. So, the thing is with Storm, if Gabby gallops him and then jumps over this jump before she goes into the ring, he kind of gets going. Look! Gas! As soon as he sees the jump, there's the gas. Three, two, one. Good boy! Drop your whip and go out. There you have it, our first annual horse show out of the way. Uh, Storm was crazy before the show. I think I figured out what the problem is, is that uh, ever since we had him, he's had issues with underrun heels and our farrier's done like so many things to try and fix it. And then last February, he got him these flip-flops. So I've showed them before in the vlogs. There are these things that kind of look like flip-flops. And later that, or soon after that, was when he started to race towards the jumps. You guys remember, there's a couple of videos I made a TikTok out of it. He raced no, towards so. the jump. And then ever since then, he's been picking up steam. I think that the horse has always been really struggling with those underrun heels and those bruises. He's had bruises last summer um, at some of the shows. He, at the, one of the shows he was lame and he just kept getting bruises upon bruises upon bruises on these underrun heels. So yeah, I think that's it you guys. I think horse, I think Storm's coming back. Like clearly he does want to do what Gabby wants to do. Like now we have two horses. Yeah, that was amazing. It was amazing to watch them go seeing Storm come from behind and be that horse out there in that arena like i'm amazed i'm so happy with him so proud of him so proud of my girls and i want you guys to know that even if you go to a horse show and you fall off or even if you show even if you go to a horse show and you don't place no horse show is a fail no horse 
show is lost. Anytime you go and you challenge yourself to do something new in a new environment with new horses, with new people, all that stuff is a learning experience for all of you. Sophie stepped out of her comfort zone, showed something that she was scared to show. I'm so proud of all of them. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, coming along with us on this whole entire journey from before we even had horses to now us showing. It has been amazing to have you guys along with us. It's not the same. It would never have been the same without you guys along with us. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, you're beautiful just the way you are. Don't you know that you're beautiful?